Residents in the Democratic Republic of Congo are returning to destroyed homes after the eruption of Mount Niragongo. Although lava flows sh stopped short of Goma, a city of over 2 million people, at least 15 deaths have been confirmed. Hundreds, including children, have been reported missing. Search and rescue operations are underway. CGTN's Joy Kirukijuma reports. Residents in the Buhena district of Goma sifted through the mangled remains of what was once the place where their houses stood. Mount Niragongo, which erupted on Saturday, saw lava halt near Buhena district on the outskirts of Goma, a city of two million people. Early estimates indicated more than 3,500 residents crossed from Goma into Rwanda to escape the lava but some started to return on Sunday. We have suffered a lot. We walked for over 15 kilometers. Unfortunately, we arrived back only to find our homes completely destroyed. We did not find anything. Apart from our burnt houses, everything else was stolen. Now I don't know where to go. I'm only walking in the streets, and we're still afraid because the fire is still visible in the lava. According to the government's spokesman, the number of casualties is likely to rise as officials access the hardest hit areas. Nine of the victims died in a traffic accident as people fled. Four others were killed as they tried to escape a prison. The other two were burned to death, Patrick Muyaya, the government spokesman, said on Sunday. I was with my husband who is too old and he didn't want to leave the house because he was sick. He couldn't walk. I say to myself, I can't go alone. We've been married for the best and for the worst. I went back to at least try to get him out but couldn't. I ran away and he got burned inside. I don't know what to do. I cast this day. Mount Niragongo last erupted in 2002, killing 250 people and rendering 120 others homeless. The government is urging people to remain vigilant and avoid non-essential travel. Joy Kirukijuma, CGTN.